today on Logan Lee Adventures. Morning, guys. We're in our first full day in Hue, in Vietnam, and I'm just leaving the hotel now. Meeting up with Yurun because he flagged us down a motorbike uh, taxi, as I would call it, motorbike taxi, and we're heading off to explore our first full day of Hue. Hey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From Hanoi to Halong Bay, Ho Chi Minh and Hoi An to now Hue, Vietnam has a love for the major H. And this city was something Yurun and I definitely didn't want to miss out on in our Vietnam trip. Even whizzing around on the back of this motorbike confirms all of our excitement so far. We made it and it looks so beautiful but it's so huge from the outside so far so we can go in and explore what it's all about. So this is the citadel. Located in the geographical center of Vietnam, Hue sits on the Perfume River, only a few minutes from the coast of the South China Sea. At the very center of the imperial city, you will find the Forbidden Purple City. What a cool name. This is where the emperor consorts lived. Back then, the only people who were allowed to access this place were the emperor himself and the eunuchs serving the royal consorts. So it's pretty awesome that we're roaming around here now. It was the most safely guarded place in the entire country. Unfortunately, most of it was destroyed during the Battle of Wei during the Vietnam War. But work is underway to restore as much of it as possible. Still, this deeply evocative capital of the Nguyen Emperor still resonates with the glories of Imperial Vietnam. I'm geeking out on all the cool architecture around me. It's just so different. <laughs> I'm to get in touch. No, higher. You have to go higher. Yeah. Oh, there we go. See. No, so that doesn't work, does it? That was not what I was wondering. <laughs> no, but you're not wearing it right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's The Imperial Palace is, there's actually 170 different sites here, or there was, and then there's now only about 10 sites. So what happened was, during the Vietnam War, or the Second Indochina War, the Americans said that the site was too beautiful to bomb, but as the Viet Cong was progressively winning over time, they had to slowly basically bomb the shit out way. So the Imperial City unfortunately got affected by it. But however, the grounds that are still here and that were restored are still phenomenal itself. And it's so peaceful and quiet because way the actual city is so hectic and within these borders like the citadel walls, it's really serene. Alright, so we went from all the way from the citadel to the Dong Ba Market, which is a huge market in Hue. So we're on the hunt for some lunch because it's really hot. It's about 35 degrees today. Oh, ooh, food. I see food. Hello. Hello. So we have a muscle dish here. 
uh, mussels with noodles and then we just sip this broth which is made out of mussels as well. And there's a really, really nice seafood flavor. Uh, we're sitting in this little stall of course. Just beside the woman who just served up this really nice plate of greens and mussels. Come on, come on. You got a really nice meal even though it's so hot sitting there because we're right beside the bowl, bowls of like steaming hot mussels. Really nice smell by the way. We're just now gonna wander through the Dongbao market. We're sipping on our Cafe Suda, which is Vietnamese iced coffee with condensed milk, our favorite snack. Mmm. Good chili dog. I love how so many people are just having a siesta right by their stall. It's our last night in play. Wow. So we're doing it. Street. <laughs> oh, no way. We're doing it. We're doing street food style. We got some bomba way, which is the national dish, of course, national noodle dish. And then we got bumbo, which means crab. So we're gonna dig in right now. The hungry egg. this weird looking fish ice cream we'll try it out the stuff with ice cream and it's green tea flavor of course <laughs> weird but tasty it's very green tea ending our night in place with cake for dessert of course 